Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw, and if you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you, and if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. So grab yourselves a cup of tea and some snacks. Um, I am bringing you the long-awaited charity shop haul. So if you follow me on Instagram, which is Rosie Henshaw Home, I will link that in the description box below, you would have seen on my stories that I went to the charity shops once they opened, and I managed to get so many goodies. Things from places like Zara, Betty Jackson Black, Principles, Olivia, um, yeah, o Oliver Bonus, also Sophie Allport got some really, really lovely bits. M&S, they're all really lovely things. Jewels, and I went to my local one, which is a St. Helena's Hospice, where they do everything for a pound, clothing items. Um, and then sometimes things are priced, if they are like a designer item, a little bit dearer. But everything I got here was a pound. I then went on to a town that's a little bit further out from me. Um, and basically went there and there was a few other charity shops that I went in as well. And they were also a St. Helena's Hospice and an Age UK. And I managed to get some really cute little bits. So I ended up spending £14.50. And I think you're going to be quite surprised by the amounts I've got. By the amounts, the amounts. I've got baby brain at the minute, guys. So I'm just saying random words. I do apologise. I can blame it on baby brain, but let's all face it. If you watch my videos, I'm constantly like getting muddled up anyway. So it's my excuse. Let me have it. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to do a little try on. So I am in a vest and I'm in some big comfy knickers. So I cannot be wearing a Spanx at the moment. They're just cutting the baby, you know in a bit and it's just it's just making my bump really uncomfortable so I do apologize but there's nothing you're not seeing anything more than you would see if I was on the beach or at the swimming pool like I say so let's get into the video and the try on so the first thing I picked up was from the St Helena's Hospice for a pound now I saw this and thought this was amazing I will just say as well these are all in my size they had so many other items in all the different sizes sometimes people say oh I have no luck with my size honestly I feel like everyone's had such a great clear out oh sorry there's a magpie there a little bit superstitious um <laughs> um so outside not indoors and um, that I find everyone's had a really good clear out and they've been really generous and they know that the charity shops are going to really struggle as well because they've not been open they're going to lose a lot of revenue and what I thought is these are a pound each if they don't fit me or they're a little bit whatever I would have donated a pound anyway to the charity so I would just re-donate them back to the original shop because obviously you can't try on at the moment so anyway I'm nattering let's get in so the first thing I picked up with this beautiful jewels dress so this is probably like a knee length dress I'm five foot three, so it'll probably fit just a little bit longer, more of a midi that I want. I got this in a size 18, and the pattern on this, they're all a bit creased, obviously. They've just hung them all straight out. For a pound, you're not going to get them steamed, are you? Um, so it's a beautiful pattern, really lovely. And as you'll know, if you buy from Jules, they're really expensive. Um, so probably this dress might have been in the 60s um, pounds to pay for. It's got a lovely sleeve on it. I'm hoping it fits me. I've left all these for a little while and not put them on just to sort of like leave them for a little while, make sure any germs disappear off them. But I thought this is such a cute little dress. How cute is this gonna be for the summer? So I'm gonna try and tilt my camera down. Oh, I can read my palms guys if you want to. <laughs> You've all banned me off the stool since my last haul. So it comes down below the knee, really, really nice level. It's got loads and loads of space in here. I paid a pound for this. So, worst case scenario, if it hadn't fitted, I'd have asked any of my friends or I'd have just donated it back. It's so lovely. It's got lovely buttons down the front. And for a pound, I just thought I'm going to wear this to little tan sandals and a nice straw bag in the summer. Maybe some little sunglasses on my head. But this colour green just looks really lovely and just makes everyone pop. I think it's a really nice green that don't wash anybody out. So, I've got this. Loving this one. I'm so glad we tried that one on. I also picked up this dress. Now, I don't know if this is going to fit me. Um, but I had to get it. So this is a wrap dress. This is a size 20. Had to get it because I thought this is going to be perfect for maternity. So this is Betty Jackson Black. I got this in a size 20. It's like double layered. It's like a really thick, dark grey mile jersey. Um, yet again, a pound. Oh, I think we've got a, a lining in here. Oh, it's, it's lined. It's fully lined, guys. I always struggle with putting these on when they're lined. Oh, where is the lining? So, lovely long sleeve. Oh, it fits quite nicely on the arms. It is a round neck, but it's a nice big cruise scoop, so it doesn't cut me off 
make me look more bigger than I am by coming up too high. Could have probably worn a proper bra with this, guys. But I didn't. <laughs> so a bit towards the ground. Oh no, this is like a perfect, perfect fit. Now this is the sort of dress that I probably wouldn't wear had, had I not been pregnant. But because I'm pregnant, it's a bodycon. This is really cute. This comes below knee. It's got this lovely little knotted bit here and it wraps and it ruches and this little flap here. It is sewn in, so it's not gonna reveal anything, but it gives that influence of, illusion, sorry, of it. I probably, don't mean to be crude, would wear really tiny sort of like no panty line visible knickers with this. My vest is making it really visible. I will go on screen, that's it. That's it, let's lift the bobs up. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Sometimes you get different sizes. Now, I'm not a 20. I'm like at most an 18. Um, and most dresses that I buy from UK retailers are by like a 16 or 18 in bottom. So this is a 20. So sometimes it's worth taking that chance on a little charity shop beauty. I've got a feeling this is going to be like a little staple for me with some little flip flops. Really comfy. It's such a nice stretchy jersey. It's just going to get and grow with me. So another little tip really, like if you don't want to spend too much on maternity clothes, it's well worth having a look in the thrift and the sort of like charity shops. It's definitely worth having a look or having a little look on eBay or Depop because maternity clothes can cost a fortune and maternity doesn't actually need to be maternity. This is just like a lovely soft jersey material which is going to stretch with me and I paid a pound for it. So we've got that as well. These are maternity. I really hope they fit me. I really do. So these are from Next. These are a pair of Next maternity jeans. These are in a 16 regular, so I might have to cut these down um, because we know that I'm quite short. Sure. Um, so they've got the lovely little like maternity waistband in them. They were really lovely. Yeah, they're not gonna fit. <laughs> I'll have to give them to another pregnant mama. I know a pregnant mama. We've got a pregnant mama in the family. These might not be her style, but. Oh yeah, these are going up past my buttocks. These are in a 16, so like I say, I am more of an 18 on the bottom half, even when I'm not pregnant. <laughs> but they are such a really nice boot cut as well. They're such a shame. Um, but yeah, they're a really nice boot cut jean. Um, a little bit long for me, but like they are perfect for growing bump. Um, so these were a pound, so I might just donate these back, but I'm gonna have a little ask round. A few people I know that are pregnant if they fancy having them. Um, oh. So I'm gonna get them off. Bit of a shame, but like I say, worst case scenario, lost a pound, charity shops gained a pound, they'll sell them again, earn another pound, win-win. So then the other thing I got was this blouse. Now this is Jaeger, so this is a really expensive brand yet again, and I thought this is gonna look so nice with a pair of dark jeans tan sandals it's just gonna look really pretty maybe some gold jewelry so i would wear like a white vest underneath this it has got a double layer in it yet again it was a pound and it's in a size 16. i actually think this was new because it's got tags on it but not the charity shop tag it actually has a tag so i think someone's probably tried to pull the tag but not actually worn it or maybe just worn it once because that tag would irritate you so it's a really really lovely cream blouse and it's just like a lacy material really nice on the arm um i think i probably could get a bigger size than this to be fair as well especially now boobs and belly have got a lot larger but it's always something that i really like and i probably could put away for after baby's born because they tend to go down a little bit my arms have gone a little bit bigger as well as well as my belly and my legs and my boobs i've just grown a little bit everywhere guys um <laughs> So this is really nice, but it's got a really lovely, like, crocheted, lacy pattern. I thought this is really, really pretty. Yet again, a pound. I'm going to pop this in the uh, after baby section of my wardrobe because I really like this. I'm going to wash it and save it. Oh, <laughs> there's no point saving the jeans because I'm never going to wear them when I'm not pregnant because I like them to be high-waisted, tuck me in. And then if I wear them when I'm pregnant, I'm always going to just be chunky bunky. So they're just not going to fit. So the next one I've got as well is a very similar to the top that I just showed you. It's like a black lacy sort of t-shirt. Now this is from, it doesn't actually say, it's got a layer in it though. It's had the sticker cut out of it. This looks very much like a next top. So I paid a pound for this as well. 
And this is just an oversized top. Oh, I really, really like this. This is really nice for the school run. So I love tops like this, especially now I'm finding I really want comfort. Um, it's got a really lovely lacy pattern. Actually smells really nice as well. Whoever donated this got very nice washing. Um, it's a really nice length on the bum and on the legs. And I will wear this with like a dark pair of jeans or I've actually got a pair of black maternity jeans from ASOS that are kind of like cropped. So I wear this with that little pair of flip flops just on an easy school run day. It's just like really comfortable, but it looks nice. It's just a little bit extra where it's a little bit lacy as well. Pound. I feel like I've like hit the jackpot really. This is one of my faves as well, along with the Jules dress and the Betty Jackson dress. Like I said, I'm going to save the cream top or I might even ask my cousin because she might want that. Um, but yeah, the jeans, I'm not too sure. I did get this. <laughs> now this was wishful thinking. This was wishful but, thinking, but... Oh, hello. Did something awaken in you, did it, Bert? Bert is here, he's watching me do my try on. He's just like barking at random things. Um, so this is from Zara, and this is in their travel look collection. This is in a large, but a large in Zara is basically like a 12 to 14 anywhere. And I know this, I think many people know this. Um, so I really like this dress. It's like a, a mini dress. And it's got like a lovely like flared out sleeve. It's got a zip up the back and it's got this floaty little hem at the bottom. And it's in this really lovely like denim blue with white stripe. And the sleeves are kind of like a croppy length. Now I'm pretty sure, look, I'm, that, that's not even gonna go over me. But for a pound, I wanted to show you it anyway because I picked this up for my sister. So I thought she would really like this, maybe with a pair of like tan wedges or something in the summer. Yet again, a straw bag. They're just like the summer staples, aren't they? Um, and she'd probably really like this. So for a pound, I picked that for her as well. She might not like it, but like I say, I've got so many people that love to thrift. I'm sure there'll be one of my friends that are smaller than me that will like that. I also picked up this dress. So this is Jessica. I think that's just sort of like, I don't know if you know the brand or if you, you can correct me on this. It might just be one of those, you know when you get them shops where they just sell for a lot of jersey items quite cheaply. And you can get them on market stores and that as well. It's got like a little open hole back. I love that it doesn't have a button because nine times out of 10 my hair gets tangled in it. Um, it's a lovely oversized navy dress. The back just looks like a t-shirt square and the front has actually got the under boob bit here and it's got the ties. I think this possibly is maternity because the waist bit does come up quite high and I thought this is yet again another easy school run because I love all my dresses and I like getting dressed up but I think some days I get up in the morning and I just want something really easy to put on. I love the scoop neck of this. This is lovely and it comes with a little tie as well so you you know, you can bring it in, accentuate your waist a bit more. Oh, I love this. This is lovely. And yet again, this is to knee length, only a pound. This is navy. Definitely maternity, guys, because if you can see, the front hem drops lower, which means that when you've got a larger bump, it brings it up to the same length. You'll find on a lot of maternity dresses, the front hem drops a lot more than the back. So yeah, this is definitely like a maternity dress. So it might even be like a brand that you'd get in like mother care or something, Jessica. It's a really quality jersey, something that you're not gonna get bubbles on. Um, yeah, again, a pound. I just feel like I've hit the little jackpot for like a little a little bash of a maternity wear. Do you know what as well? You could probably wear some nice black tights and little like Chelsea boots with this in the winter with like a nice cardigan or something. This. It's so me, but it's so my mum as well. This is my mum's colour. Like, my mum's got, like, almost jet black hair. She's got really olivey skin. I just take off my dad. <laughs> Don't look like my mum very much. Um, but she really loves bright colours. So if you see her in a lime green or a tangerine, but mostly this. And she sometimes hates her nails this colour, wears lipstick this colour. She's so lovely and vibrant, bless her. Um, so I know she'll love this. This top is from M&S. Now... I thought this would be good for like early pregnancy as the spring comes and then save it for when, you know, baby comes. So this is in a size 16. It isn't in a really long length. This is from M&S. Yet again, I paid a pound for it. It's got a lovely crop sleeve with a little split up the sleeve. Oh, and it's a little off the shoulder number. Like I say, it meets perfectly. So I'd wear this with some high waisted jeans obviously have it off the shoulder it'd be more of like a holiday style top 
a pound for this, guys. I thought this is really, really cute. You can wear some like nice little mixed up gold jewelry, some little jeans, some nice little sandals. They look really, really pretty. And the colour, just, I've got a little bit of blush on. It just immediately makes my blush stand out. So it makes you look a little bit cuter. Um, <laughs> I don't know, do I? I'm feeling a little bit cute, guys. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit cute. Um, so this was a pound. This is from m &S, And obviously, once it's ironed, it's going to look so much nicer. So this is what I've got. Oh, I've got one more thing, but it's non-clothing related, this item that I got from there as well. So this was also a pound. Um, so I managed to pick up a brand new Kath Kitson pencil case. So I saw this on the website and these were £12 and I wanted to get one and then they sold out because they had like the same range but in the doggy wear. So I got Bertie the dog bowl and the little mat for the dog bowl to go on. Um, and I, I'm an art about this, but I'm glad I didn't get it because everything happens for a reason. And I ended up getting it for a pound in the charity shop. But what's really good about it is there's loads of these lovely little crafting pens in here. So it's got the little box. And all of these come in there, so they're like a real lovely bunch. They've all got the caps on them and the seal as well. So they're all brand new, but they're like little different sizes, bright colored pens. They're little Muji pens and they're from Japan. And I just thought they're very like Smiggle-esque, like, you know, like an expensive crafty pen. So got them in there, lovely. They come with it, so for a pound and I got all that. So this is actually gonna be for Moo Moo, my little daughter, and um, my little girl. A little door and if you open it there's like another bit where you can put some rubbers and stuff and that in it but calf kits then pounds and it comes with all the lovely little pens as well so she's going to really like that this is when i went on to the other shops now so this is from age uk i believe and um, so i picked these up and i thought these were such a bargain so the first thing i picked up was i love sophie all but you're talking about 30 pound for an apron so when i saw this in there this is brand new and it still has Oh, if we can find it, it still has the Sophie Allport tag on this as well. So it's brand, brand spanking new. And I paid £3 for this. I'm pretty sure I paid £2 for it up at the till, um, actually. But it's a little base one for in the garden or in the kitchen. It's got lovely little pockets in it, utility pockets. So, you know, like you can put your gloves in there or your secateurs or whatever. And it's got all pictures of grass and like <laughs> little trees on it really lovely little wheelbarrows little bunnies it's really really sweet so i just thought this is going to be perfect for potting some plants do you know what they probably even baking because sometimes i get a little bit irritated with a full length apron tie this up just to make sure my dresses don't get a flower and stuff on them i thought this is really really cute and for like definitely paid two pounds this i'm sure i did because there's a few marks on there if you can see it said 350 down down, down to three pound it's five pound originally Sure, I paid £2 because they had a sale on in there for their opening. They wanted to get rid of loads of their stock. I imagine they had loads of it. So I got that. And I also picked up a brand new with the tags on. They had so many things that were brand new with tags on, by the way. Um, Puma. Now, this is a running top. This is in a size 18. But I did want to start doing a little bit of yoga and a little bit of relaxation, a few little muscle stretches and stuff. I had a little bit of a tricky labour with my youngest one. It wasn't actually my fault, it was a mistake um, on the medical side, actually wasn't mine, but had I had been a little bit more fitter, I think I would have done it. A, a, well, do you know what? No, I'm lying. I've done an amazing job. I, mums always have that, they always put themselves down, but I feel like for myself, I just want to be a little bit stronger, like my muscles and stuff, so I thought, you know, I can sit on the sofa wearing this, eating some cake. Boom. Um, <laughs> so what I like about it is it's the full length as well. And it's got the booby holder in it. I probably have to wear a bra as well because I don't have black eyes. Um, it's got the little booby holder and the little puma sign on it. How lovely is that colour as well? These are normally quite expensive as well. They're normally easy 20 quid. Um, not less expensive, but for just a gym top. Because obviously I'm not a gym bunny. So 20 quid on something that I'm going to wear once a week. If that, at a push. Um, <laughs> so I paid £3 for this in a size 18. Do you know what? It wouldn't be a try on if I didn't try it on, would it? So <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> I could get stuck in it. Do you know what? This is the workout, guys. Getting it on and getting it off. This is what I'm going to do every day for the rest of the my pregnancy. Oh, I tell you what, it does go a bit tight on the old titty last. Oh, oh that, that, now that might hold me in, to be fair. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> um, see if it's that tight when I haven't got my thingy on. 
Oh, this is pushing bum pat. So, oh, I'll tell you what, it's not fitted. It's nice and comfy though, and it's got like a little racer back on it. And this would be good for like when I'm doing my like in the dream world, my little exercises, do a little bop to this. But I just thought this was really good for three quid. I'm really sorry, I find myself quite funny and I just get carried away. I'm very often giggling at myself in the kitchen, having a little boogie. Oh, oh workout one done. Whew. And then the last one I picked up in there was, oh no, 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 I've got two more things. I've got two bags. So this was from the original shop where everything was a pound, the Hertz and Helen's Hospice, but because it weren't a pound, I didn't want to confuse you. How cute is this little straw bag? So this is Principal. So you've got this in Debenhams, I think Principal's is from. So it's really beautiful. And it's got this lovely like linen sort of like beige sort of colour. These leatherette bits here. And this lovely, really nice, like a pink and a sage. Um, I thought this was really, really nice. And it's really well made. Principal's, it's got the lovely little wooden handles. And I thought with the little flowy dresses in the summer. How cute is this gonna look? And I actually thought I might make some really nice tassels to hang off this or pom-poms just to give it that little bit of like monsoon accessorise kind of look. Um, but I paid for this £2.50, which I thought was a lovely little bargain. I loved it, I didn't put the fabric on the bottom because that would have got really dirty. Um, so I really, really like that. And then this is from Reverse. HUK, where I got the sports top from and the Sophie Allport. Oh, that breath again. What a shocker. So this is Oliver Bonus. It said it was Oliver Bonus on the, on the sign. So how do they know it's Oliver Bonus? Oh, that's how they know it's Oliver Bonus. It's got the tag inside, Oliver Bonus. This to me looks brand new. Um, so this, I just thought was really, really cute. And that, oh, choking on my hair. And I paid £2.50 for this. This is really vibrant and it's just going to go with this shirt so well. And this cost £2.50. No, £2.99. £2.99 this one was. The other one was £2.50. £2.99, a little straw bag. And I just thought, this is so cute. But it's a really nice size to keep any of your lipsticks in. Suntan lotion if you need it in there for the kids. Your sunglasses, plasters. All that mum stuff, but you can still look really trendy with it. And it's got this lovely little strap. But I like that that's the sort of strap that you could sort of like hold. Really nice. It's going to look lovely with that top. But yeah, that is my charity shop haul. Paid £14.50. So that definitely must have been £2 that apron. I'm really excited. I just get a bit of a buzz when I've been to the charity shops. I can't lie. I'm going to have to go there again because that was a few weeks ago. And I'm sorry that it's taken this long. My YouTube was malfunctioning. I've been on onto the Technique team to sort this out for ages. So many of my videos. I had a couple scheduled as well. And they're just not uploading. Um, so I thought there's no point filming it. Getting out of breath if I just cannot upload it. I thought it might have been to do with the videos itself. Um, so I waited until everything was fixed. Then I'm bringing you videos. So I'll be back up with the content again guys um but hopefully you like this if you're not subscribed already please press subscribe and the notification bell and then you'll be notified when my videos are up if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i've been rosie henshaw i think i deserve a cup of tea now i've done all that so take care guys have a lovely rest of your week bye